Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. So today I will be recreating the famous house from Architecture 101. It is a nostalgic Korean movie. If you haven't already watched it, you should watch it. I definitely recommend it, especially for people who love architecture. I was like that in the beginning and that's the reason why I joined. I, I, I studied a little bit in architecture. Here is a picture of what it looks like. It's nothing special, but if you watch the movie, you'll understand the context and the, the homeliness that it represents. It was, it's, it's a renovation project, so that's why it includes some, some modern aspects to it, such as the green roof and the extension in the back and, and the front with a curtain wall. Along with recreating this house, I will be doing a little story time and the story time will be about one of my professors from college. I've been so robotic. He he was an architect and now he's teaching in college, which is not a problem. Um he says he's been teaching for like seven or more years. He is infamous among the students for his inappropriate behavior. There's no other way to say it. <laughs> he he was known for being late to class and exams, especially one case where he was late to a final exam, which, <laughs> let me tell you, you're not allowed to be late to a final. Students aren't allowed, and especially teachers are not allowed to be late. But he made the excuse that his he had he had a skateboarding accident and he's he's like more than 50 years old by the way but he had a skateboarding accident and he hurt his knee and that's why he was late okay the dean believed it and so so keep in mind that he he tends to be late to classes and also exams <laughs> In every aspect, he will be late, and it's okay if he's late. So, for example, for assignments or midterms, let me tell you, there was one semester, one class, where we did a midterm, and we didn't get the, the grade for it until the night before the grades for the final were due. And we didn't end up having a final with him. He said... He said, we'll just end up going with the mark for the midterm. So you did not know if you passed that class until the night before marks were due for the final. It's crazy, okay? And in the last year of college, so this program was three years, it was Architectural Technologies. In the last year of college, he put up a sign on the door that said, no one's allowed to be late. If you're late, don't open the door. One girl was late. She came in and he shouted at her. It, it wasn't even like a reasonable type of, hey, you're late, excuse me, but you cannot come in. No, he, <laughs> he went at her and Oh, it, it's like he's projecting what happened to him, but in an exaggerated manner to everyone else. It was terrible. <laughs> Let's start at the very beginning. So in my first year, there was, in the very first semester, there was a class called Architectural Drawing. In this class, he probably only took maybe two to three hours in total over the semester to teach us drawing. Yes, we did learn how to draw, but we also spent 200 to $300 on equipment that we never, we rarely ended up using. If I were to teach that class, you would end up with maybe $50 or $60 of expenses. But this man made us buy circle templates, curves, when we're not going to use that if if the content anyway that, that's not my problem <laughs> let's move on let's move on because this is a story time this is not me trying to argue 
<laughs> it's over for me. So, so as I said, he probably spent two to three hours during the whole semester. Keep in mind, this class is four hours long in one day. So once a week, four hours. For four hours, this man talked about himself. We probably knew more about him than the teachers that he worked with. Let me, let me introduce him to you guys. He's a divorcee. I forgot his age, but probably more than 50 years old. He, his, his ex-wife is Indian. He brings her up a lot, so just prepare yourself. Um, he loves Indian food. He likes anything spicy. And coincidentally, he also loves talking about 9-11. Uh, he's obsessed with that. Um, you won't stop hearing about that for three years. <laughs> he has little boys and he believes in hitting as punishment. Um, he used to smoke and now he vapes. He even he even vaped in class to show us, you know, if, if you don't know how to vape, you could just ask him to do it in class. He'll do it. Uh, and he always has a can of Coca-Cola. Like he's a character, a literal character. He has a, he always has a can of Coca-Cola. He showed us a picture of himself on Halloween night, I don't know from what year, and he was in an astronaut suit on a couch with two other women beside him, and he was, I guess he was still older, he, he was older in that picture, so he had two older women in stripper costumes, and I think their, her, their breasts were out. He showed this picture to an architectural drawing one class in the first year, in the first semester. E this, this man really doesn't know what's appropriate or inappropriate. Uh, and then in the second year, I remember it was, it, it was just weird. It, he, he showed us an inappropriate video. It was real life photo footage of people dying and burning in a, a building that was burning down. It was a pub where people drank and sang and they didn't have the proper fire safety measures and he showed us that. Actual footage of someone trying to run out ahead of all of the other people showed us the people getting stuck in the door and screaming for their lives oh my goodness and then and then he and then you know I spoke up and I was like could you please stop because he was going to show it three times by the way three times and he said you know in the past seven years none of the students have had a problem with this video but this year this is the first time and I talked to my friend that's, that studies psychology and apparently people are more sensitive nowadays. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> people are more sensitive nowadays? Okay, so let me tell you another fact. I talked to previous students that are not just a year older or two years older. They're in their late 30s now and they said they never saw a video like that he never showed a video like that before and that got me thinking this man is lying this man is lying through his teeth and he gets away with so much because none of the students want to tell on him none of them and then and then it's and that's not even it like in the in my last year for estimation class on the very first day he was talking about plagiarism and all that and he has no problem with insulting or criticizing or bullying a student 
in front of a class and he but he won't mention the student's name in that way he avoids liability or, or you know responsibility he talked he he made fun of a girl that would that had teared up while while defending herself against plagiarism and he made fun of her and that student that girl was sitting in the very front row of that class what? how could someone not care to that point how could someone make fun of another person in front of a crowd of other students this honestly these three years were so confusing to me and that's not even it on uh, in the same co in the same speech that he was giving he said that he doesn't mind getting in trouble with the dean because he knows he's gonna get away with it like he knows he's right and he said f you to the dean he was so vulgar and i'm pretty sure no one's gonna remember and no one's gonna care to to back this up and the sad thing is for the three years i wanted to so many times stand up and talk to the dean about this but how could I do that by myself? The other students were afraid of having the teachers mark them lower. And let me tell you, I did suffer from that because he did mark me lower and it was unjustified. And I really I never got to like I, I, I confronted him about it. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is the final model of architecture, the, the architecture house. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what else you want to hear about. What else you want me to recreate? There are gonna be more videos. Trust me. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. I hope to see you next time.